Hey, what up guys? How's it going? I have something kind of cool here. I have the latest and greatest from Swan. Now these cameras are add-ons, so please don't think they work by themselves. You can't just buy this one camera, stick it up at home and it's going to work. You need to have an NVR. My NVR that I have is the NVR 8580. So this is not a standalone camera. You have to have the supporting hardware at home already in place. And UPS just dropped them off. I have the SWN HD 885 and the 865. Now the only difference between those two cameras is one is 4k the other one is 5 megapixel the 4k one allows a couple of more features like uh, line crossing detection and other stuff you can get into and the resolutions higher on the 4k system but what's new about both of these they now have a built-in speaker and they also have spotlights in them so you could turn off and on spot the spotlights from your phone Absolutely no problem anywhere as long as you're getting a cellular signal or a Wi-Fi signal off and on so uh, you can illuminate an area when it's dark you can use it to scare someone off it's actually pretty cool and since there's a built-in speaker you can hit an alarm that you can use as a deterrent to scare someone when they approach your home or approach a driveway or approach your warehouse or anything like that and you can now have a conversation with them. So with the app, you just hold the talk button and now you can speak to them and they can hear you through the built-in speaker. So if someone comes to your door, you could speak to them and don't even have to get, leave the comfort of your couch or your bed, or you could be anywhere in the world. That's the best part. They don't even know if you're home or not. As long as you're getting a cellular or, or Wi-Fi signal, you're good to go. You can hear and speak to them. So you could say, hey, UPS or FedEx guy, leave the package there, leave it with my neighbor, anything like that. Or someone you don't know, why go to the door? Why risk you or your family's safety at all? Speak to them right through that. So it's pretty cool. So anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna unbox it, get into it, because I want you guys to see these cameras. They're actually pretty cool. Then I'll do a little bit of a light install on the exterior of my home, and then I'll show you what it looks like and how it works and all that stuff. You guys know that. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. Layers. Okay. Now, if you have any problems or questions with your setup or anything going on, don't hesitate to call their customer service. Okay, so let's get in here. And they include a an additional Cat5 cable in case you need it. And this is uh, 60 feet. Here's your wall mounting template. Mounting hardware. You have some security decals, instruction manual, warranty, all that stuff right in here and the rest of the box is empty. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual camera itself. All right, your Cat5 will just go ahead and plug right in there, boom. I'll unplug my existing one and go ahead and plug this one in. Okay, it's got the microphone up top, there's your lens in the middle, this is your true motion detect and heat sensor. Uh, you have your super bright spotlights here as you can see two of those so I can imagine it's going to be extremely bright and uh, lastly you have your speaker built in right there you see that so when you talk your voice will come out through there and you'll hear them from the microphone here now I'm just going to take out the other one really quick the only difference is this is the 5 megapixel version As you can see, they look identical, but different from the ones without the bright lights on them. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna do a light install, not a big deal. Simple plug and play. Gonna take out the old cameras, pop in the new ones. Then I'm gonna upload some footage so you can see what it looks like with and without the lights on. And I'm also gonna do some audio tests and so you could hear just how loud the speaker is, me talking from my phone through the speaker and you can see just how loud it is. So pretty cool. All right, guys. Okay, so after a little bit of a light install, all I did was swap the cameras out. It's plug and play, you're ready to go. So let's look inside the app. So make sure you have the latest version of the app installed on your phone. Make sure your phone's uh, firmware is up to date and make sure your NVR 
has the latest firmware as well. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go into the Home Safe View app by Swan. And then that's gonna go ahead and bring up the, my cameras here. Now, um, I'll go to the one on my front porch, and as you can see, I have two new icons here on the right-hand side. One looks like a light bulb, the other one looks like a bell. That is to cut the light off and on, and that is for the alarm, if you wanna cut the alarm off and on. So if I wanna cut the light on, you just press it there. It's gonna take a second. And then now you see the light has cut on, and you see how more uh, illuminated that area is. So I'll go ahead and cut it off. We hit the alarm button and then the siren will go off and it's a pretty loud, not so nice noise. Now you can also control the brightness and the volume level of the alarm. I'll show you that in a second. Now if you wanna to talk to someone, down here at the bottom, your options might, might be a little difficult to see. Okay, so at the bottom here is the microphone icon. And to speak to, the, speak to them and here, you'd press this. Now what that does is now cuts on the speaker and the microphone. So you can hear and you can talk. But to talk to them, you have to press this. So you press and hold it as you talk. You can kind of hear the feedback from my voice. Only as you're holding it can they hear you. Then when you let go, they can't. But as you hear that noise now, you hear the noise going on in the front of my house because we can hear. So it's very simple to do, all within the app, and it's not too bad. So, let me stop that. Then I'll, up at the top, I'll hit the settings logo, and that'll bring us to this menu. Okay, so at the top, it has audible alert. You can cut that off or on. Uh, if you turn that on, anytime motion is detected, the alarm will sound. So you could put that on the side of your house or uh, in an area to where as soon as motion is detected, it will let off an audible alert and scare away the perpetrator. That's actually good. And on the NVR itself, you can go into the settings and dictate uh, when that takes place. For instance, let's say you want that to happen from 11 p.m. at night to four in the morning, let off an alarm sound. So it's pretty cool. Um, siren duration how long do you want it to go on do you want it to go off for 10 seconds 60 seconds you can go all the way up to 180 seconds siren volume you can adjust the volume from not so loud to really loud same thing with the light you have visible alert anytime motion is detected you could have the light go on uh, you can adjust the duration of the light 40 seconds 10 seconds the range is from 5 seconds all the way up to 180 and then you have the brightness on how bright you want the light to be. You want it all the way at 100? Uh, do you want it at 50%, 40%? Okay, so now I'm in the main menu of my NVR. Let's go to alarm and let's go to deterrent. Now let's select the channel of uh, one of the new cameras and you'll see all of the settings here. So spotlight, enable or disable. Light level, I have it at 98%. So you have warning light and then you also have strobe light. Uh, warning light, it just comes on for the duration you set it at, and uh, strobe light means it flashes off and on rapidly. Uh, duration, that's for how many seconds? Five to 180, just like in the app. Siren, I have it disabled, but here you can enable it. Siren duration, just like in the app, and sensitivity. Now here, Setup and schedule. So setup, so here's the setup area I have as a demonstration. So this is great. So in the red where I have it set, when cars approach the driveway at a certain time or any motion in here at a certain time, the lights will go ahead and cut on. But out in this area where cars are gonna be passing on the street, I don't want the lights to cut on. So that's where you can go ahead and adjust that and you just go ahead and click on a space and red means motion will be detected and you unclick it and it will not activate it. So it's very simple, but I like how they made distinguishes between the two. So for instance, for motion settings, I, I would want everything to record on the screen because I wanna catch the cars going by and whatever's coming in my driveway. But for the light or the siren to go on, I only want it here. So uh, I love the fact that they let you choose 
and schedule. Here's a schedule. So this is in military time, but um, yeah. So if you wanted to come on at let's say eight o'clock, you know, you go ahead and fill that in here and then de-click it if you don't. But all the blocks where you set it, that's where it will come on. So from here, so I have it at 10 o'clock all the way till four in the morning in that area that I set up that zone where motion is detected in my driveway, then the lights will cut on. So that's what that looks like. It's all set up, it's all done, ready to go, pretty cool. So now I'm just gonna throw some footage up there for you guys to see what it looks like. Okay, so it's all set up, ready to go. I might play around with this a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna upload some footage so you can see what it looks like with the camera lights on and off and with me talking so you could hear the volume as well. It's actually pretty good. Um, uh, I've been using these for a little while and I got to talk to the UPS guy and uh, somebody else that was dropping off a package. So pretty cool. Um, yeah, so enjoy the footage. I will leave all the links in the description below where you can go ahead and buy these. And uh, all right guys, light is. Hi husband, good morning. Good morning, say one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can hear me good? I can hear you perfectly fine, nice and loud. Okay, thank you.